Hi, this is Attila16 for the Cure Game channel, and this is a video uh, you guys asked for, which is uh, where I fly a uh, Navier choppers in uh, war situation. So uh, in this mission, I'll fly an AH-64, which is an Apache, and I'll engage the enemy up north of Chernobyl, the fictitious country. And uh, to do so, I have an M3, uh, M230 machine gun, which has 1,200 uh, rounds. I have two Hydra launchers, which has have 38 rounds of rockets, and eight L fire missiles. Now, I like the little bird. This chopper uh, behaves the same way. It's a little less maneuverable in terms of turning, but uh, it's much faster because that's an attack chopper so it's made to advance faster I guess and it also deliver much more punch with all the weapons I have but uh, while I have much more armor than the little bird it's important not to uh, get shot at so that's why what I'll prioritize first in my engagement is to get rid of the uh, anti-air weapons and to do so, I'll use my L-Fire missiles. Now, like uh, with the other little bird, I'll stay in the valley where the hills protect me from uh, enemy fire. And uh, that means the radar cannot really spot me from afar by staying at low altitude. Now, I'm a little higher because uh, this relief is much more hilly and there's much more trees and wires and everything that can kill you. Uh, without being really intended by the enemy. So I'm about to enter the combat zone. There are some friendly troops and uh, the radar top left of your screen shows you uh, a little what's going on. Okay, I have a lock on something. It's the Shilka. So that's a good start. Engaging the Shilka. So you lock on it by clicking tab and then you just wait for the circle to appear. But it's not because the circle is there and the bib bib is there that you're actually engaging the shilka or whatever that is where you think it is. It's just the estimated position. So you need to be careful about it. And of course the faster you go, uh, the harder you are to hit. So this is a UAZ, which is a pretty light uh, target. I'll engage it with machine gun. And my gunner is actually doing the lock-on. Yep, there's another Shilka there. I'll switch to L fire. I'll try to engage it as fast as possible. Because uh, getting hit by a Shilka is really not a enjoyable experience. But the tree is actually blocked the way. So I wasted the missile on it. But there you go. I got it. Now there's many tank ad. Now the reason why I stay at low altitude is really to have uh, all the trees covering me. I missed the T-34, but that's not really important. I think I'll revenge, uh, I'll take my revenge uh, using the machine gun. The thing is that uh, the lock on, only sh lock on uh, the position you see or last saw of uh, the target you're aiming at. So that means that uh, if you don't have a visual on the tank and uh, you're shooting on it and it is not moving the way you're, he's supposed to move or you think he moves, that means that uh, you will actually miss. So that's something uh, which uh, incites you to be careful about when and where and what you shoot and in what context. There's many uh, tank around here. These are just T-34 from the Kistanese army, which I put it into uh, Chernobyl. Now T-34 are not a big uh, threat to um, Apache choppers, but uh, they still can shoot me uh, if I'm not careful. On the other hand, my uh, machine gun will be able to pierce their armor. So that should not be uh, much of an issue to take them out. 
Now I'm taking the risk of uh, standing uh, still. No, oh, this one uh, rolled until it blew up. Pretty nice. So I just took out uh, five uh, or six T34 in this valley. Well, you might say, oh, T34 are easy prey. Uh, yeah, they are, but uh, when you're infantry, it's not really that fun to uh, meet one, even if you have some anti tank capacity. I have a lock on a UAZ. That means that I can actually uh, destroy it easily with the machine gun or uh, Hydra rockets. It's not worth wasting an L fire on uh, such a light target. So let's see what uh, happen if I shoot it. Now just firing a small burst. Okay, now it's down. Or the crew uh, abandoned it. Oh, there's another one which is firing on me. So it's important that uh, you move away after a close uh, engagement like that. Now apparently there's some friendly troops down there. I can tell that from the radar. So I guess my uh, air support is uh, helping them. Shooting the UAV, AZ, sorry. Okay, destroyed it. Now your role as a chopper is really to support the troops. It's not to do the entire thing. So that means that you need to prioritize if your enemies, like tank and uh, light vehicle, that might uh, pack some punch against your troops. And the thing is that, uh, like in the real world, anything which is armored is a pain for the infantry. So that's why choppers and air support uh, are around. And that you can uh, hope uh, to have that kind of support when you're playing. But at the same time uh, with that chopper, you can take uh, out an entire army without uh, much issue. I'm taking a risk by standing like that because if you do stand like that it's very likely that uh, the enemy will fire on you. Because you become a, an easy target for snipers even. Okay, so got those tanks. Okay, I need to go southwest. There's a couple of unidentified target. Well, they seem to be friendly tank. Ah, I stay at pretty low altitude still in order to avoid the radar having a lock on me. But. Uh, from above like that, uh, we'll say that uh, I took care of everything that uh, posed a threat to my uh, friendly troops. So I'll just get back to base. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that uh, small chopper run. And uh, you noticed that it wasn't really that hard. I did not even, even get uh, any damage on my chopper. And by just keeping the speed up and uh, staying at low altitude in order not to avoid uh, not to attract attention from uh, entire weapons and I took care of uh, the two Shilka very quickly so uh, if you have any other requests feel free to ask I will uh, give it a, a try if I can